Gathered here today, we are reminded of the sense of history and occasion that surrounds us. We're inspired just by being here, in a location where the peoples of the ancient world gathered and competed in legendary athletic contests. Through this unique location, we are able to connect the ancient games and the modern games. We are also reminded this morning of sports enduring universal appeal and the timeless Olympic values that transcend history and geography, values which I believe in these challenging times are more relevant than at any time before, and particularly to young people the world over. This morning, ceremony reminds us of the core mission and responsibility of London 2012 to inspire young people. And we will place young people at the center of our torch relay, just as de Coubertin placed young people at the center of his Olympic vision. We will involve young people from all backgrounds, cultures, and faiths in the torch relay, reflecting London's immense diversity and creativity as a global destination that gives voice for young people. This special flame will, will carry with it a message of peace and friendship. It will also carry with it the respect and goodwill of the people of the United Kingdom. It will shine a light on our country and remind people of the eternal values of the Olympic movement that we all share. As we edge ever closer to the handover of the flame to the UK and Athens next week, we remind ourselves of our responsibility to honor those values. We promise to protect the flame, to cherish its traditions, and to stage an uplifting torch relay of which we can all be proud and which can inspire a generation. As torchbearers lift the Olympic flame in the days and months ahead, it is our hope that they will also lift the spirits and hopes of people across Britain and across the world. I know the passing of the Olympic torch from hand to hand, from torchbearer to torchbearer, and from generation to generation will touch and inspire people everywhere.